attacking foray here early in a shot from distance just rising a little too high but that's got the crowd involved and it's got young Manaya Elliott involved into the starting lineup maintains that momentum towards the left wing side Elliott looking like she's in the mood to run at players Speckmeyer does have pace little nutmeg Speckmeyer can she shoot on goal side netting she's very aggressive going towards the byline but finds Speckmeyer in a dangerous position crafty to get beyond the defender that's a dangerous one Playing a square ball across midfield. Farrow just stumbled, but she scores! And finally, finally, Millie Farrow breaks her duck. The 27-year-old Englishwoman missed a gilt-edged opportunity last week, but she does not miss this time. And against the run of play, Perth Glory lead here in Auckland. Driven across, Longo, can she turn and shoot? Blocks may well have been going wide, and that one's certainly going high. Couple of good moments, though, for Wellington Phoenix. Are they starting to surge back into this half late on? Pinched away by Elliott. Can they spring on to attack here? They can, into the penalty area. Chance, they equalise! Quick as you like, Breslin gives them hope. Wellington Phoenix back on level terms. <laughs> Elliot tries one from a long way out, and it's tipped over the bar. I didn't think that was that threatening initially, but Morgan Aquino was taking no chances here. Barry sends it back into the penalty area. A chance now onto the crossbar. On the rebound, and it's in the back of the net. There is no flag. Wellington Phoenix take the lead. They turned it around in the opening 15 minutes of the second half. And for the second time in two weeks, Perth Glory see a 1-0 lead disappear. Options left for Paul Temple. There's a shot from distance, well saved, Foster, she's okay. Don't worry about that left leg, she's okay. What a denial to keep her side in front.